G'day, Peanut Mechanics Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And as you can see, I have made some modifications to the vehicle that we had last time. And I'm still sick, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this flu is not going away anytime soon, but that's okay. Uh, check out this thing. It looks pretty cool now. But I'll tell you what, I've got some stuff over there, as you can see, that I can show you. I've been sick, so I haven't been able to record much, but I've been playing this a whole heap. So let's take the beast over. This is like a tractor. Almost like a tractor. I've added the extra um, wheels on the front for a bit of bit of mobility, and you know, there's got myself a little cab now. Oh, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so there's a few things I want to show you. The first thing is a concept for a, I guess, railed vehicle, vehicular, and this is sort of what I come up with. I did have a few other ideas that I will eventually get to. Um, I've come up with how to make this turn around corners, how to uh, you know, pretty much make it better than what it is now. But this is just it in its pure essence. As you can see, I've got this little area here. What I might do is actually, I might delete this this step here because that one does get in the way. Um, all it is um, is four tires wrapped around one single beam, which is the track. And it's sort of like a flying fox, sort of monorail, train. You could do this in multiple ways. And I've got ideas for stuff in the future, which we will get to, but I just wanted to show you this already. So, um, all you need to do is just pretty much put the four tires around like that. They're all on bearings, obviously. Got an electric motor connected up, and look at this, man. You just go back and forth. Uh, now, what my idea for making this move around corners and whatnot is um, to have the two side tires so you see the two two tires that are actually horizontal they're on suspension so that um you can gradually turn around a track that is actually uh, moving across so uh yeah it's it's a cool idea i like it and i will definitely be using it to make some projects in the future but i wanted to nut, nut out the uh the basics of it as we have done here now let's go over here and i've built myself a garage check out this thing i like the look of it what i really like though is what I've done with the doors. So if we, I'm just going to get rid of this uh, this block so we don't have stuff in front of us. I've got a controller hooked up here to these doors and if we click it like that, sliding concertina doors and what's in here is the car. We'll look at the car in a minute because this car I'm kind of in love with. But I will show you very quickly these doors. As you can see, they just have up the top, one simple arm or two bearings and in here I have programmed it like this. So if we get out our our tool, all right, we've got one, two, and then three and four. So if we look at one and two, they will actually both move 165 degrees like that in that direction. So that is uh, anti-clockwise, and that one is clockwise. And then three and four will actually move the other way, minus 165, minus 165. So three will move in a clockwise direction and four anti-clockwise direction. And that's pretty much it. Um, the, f the fine parts, if you want to recreate this in the world, is pretty much figuring out how many blocks across. I believe that's like five. Let's count one, two, three, four, five it is. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wide door. And, it, and it, this is it. This creates a groovy little door like that. I've got so many other ideas for doors. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it in this episode because I'm just kind of showing off some things at the moment. Um, and there's another thing over there which I will be showing off. But the, this behind this door is my rat rod. It's a scrap rod. We're going to call it a scrap rod. So if you know what a rat rod is, or it's like a hot rod, right? And it is an absolute weapon. We've got the engines pretty much turned up to full. I think I've only got one attached at the moment. But what I also really like about this car is this automatic doors so it'll open up so you can hop hop in and then it'll close by itself how cool is that but this thing is like i said an absolute weapon it's sort of set up like a billy cart in the sense that let's have a look at the steering i'll show you the steering pop this on here so we can just lift it up and it's just one swing arm across the front with a bearing in the center so uh when we do turn I mean, it's not the greatest turning, but it's Billy Cart turning. It works. It works all right. But as you can tell, she goes pretty fast. It's actually a bit of a drift pig as well. She likes to do a lot of drifting. And I've got the doors on both sides. <laughs> Look at this thing. Just goes full sideways all day. Oh, yeah. We should definitely make a drift track. What do you reckon, guys? 
<laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go on to my next little concept that I have created here, which is a projectile weapon. You heard me. Getting some weapons up and scrap mechanic. It's going to be scary as. I, lo I love my scrap rod. It's a beast. Okay, so what I have here is a projectile weapon. Now, um, I've got a piston at the back, which I'll show you how, how it all works in a second. So what we need to do to start to load the weapon is basically drop a loose piece of wood or metal or anything like that. We've got the, that's the projectile there itself. And what it does, it'll just shoot out through here. So we've got to turn on our engines. I hope this doesn't crash. All right. And then we just need to quickly switch on our, our piston and it will push it and we'll see. Hopefully it's not working. I haven't made my projectile long enough. That's why I will turn you off and can you stop please? <laughs> I think what happens there is that the, um, the actual, maybe we need, can we make it that big? That should work. Uh, the actual sequence wants to finish playing out at the bottom, which is, which is fine. So now we're going to push this again, and hopefully this will push this until it catches on to the tires. No, it's not long again. You're a peanut. Absolute peanut. Let's try once more. You turn you off. I need to sort of set this up so it's sort of a one-time trigger. And I'm not sure how to do that just yet. I guess I'll figure it out eventually. And you know what we might do? We might just make this. You actually make sure you attach it there. A little bit bigger. Because I don't want the projectile to be too, too huge. That might work. Just a wee bit better than anticipated. Hopefully this works. Yep. Here we go. You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to have a coughing fit. So, it's a little bit buggy at the moment, I guess. Maybe we need to make... Let's try a smaller projectile. Maybe that won't go so... Oh, okay. I don't know what's changed. Kind of weird. We'll make the push rod a lot bigger. I hope that the... Uh engine will actually be all the the pistons and whatnot will be able to push all this let's see yep it's gonna work hopefully this smaller one will oh okay definitely not not working correctly uh maybe um, i'll turn this off it's got to cycle through everything of course let's delete this front one We'll just put a couple in here. Oop, wrong, wrong button. Uh, let's get some metal out just for symmetry's sake. Put that there. Oh. Like this. This might work a bit better. And then we'll put a small projectile in here. Just drop it off so it's loose. And... Please work. Oh, hang on. I know what's happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun. I know what I did there. So, um, I figured out things that are on moving parts, you need to attach to moving parts. I think I was directly looking at the bottom here. So, it's actually stationary. I need to actually attach it to this, my little sweeping mechanism, which should work now. It should be good to go. Hang on. That doesn't look good. I think that's... Yeah, that looks okay to me. Let's try. Yes, we're going. It's going. It's going. Grab it. Grab it. Off you go. Oh, it landed underneath. Okay. So there's definitely need some work to be done here, but it, you know, it's a it's a cool concept in my opinion. <laughs> I like I like it a lot. Uh, it worked so much better when I wasn't on camera. You know, that's pretty typical of these sorts of things. I was able to um, get it to to shoot a projectile. Actually, you know what? It might be better if we use metal. Maybe that is has a different weight and whatnot. Maybe that has a better, better projectile. Oh, oh, she's stuck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, before I had it work, it's so good. Anyway, the idea I have here, actually, you know what? I might just turn this up because, so you can see, I've got the six engines here for is it six or is it yeah six engines for the for the wheels and um. They are just incremental speed, so it kind of just... We'll turn them all up, just one. 
So it doesn't automatically just go absolutely bananas. Yeah, this one here has actually got nothing. It's five engines. Connect to each row. So as the projectile starts here, it speeds up slowly and then hits maximum velocity here and gets shot out of the weapon like that. And there's all these other ideas that I've got for this thing as well. Um, something that I can have self-loading. So you can sort of have an area where uh, you'll have a whole heap of projectiles set up, ready to go, and this will automatically load them in and just continuously fire them one after the other. Let's, let's try this again. Let's see if we can get this working. Down you go. And then... Yeah. I don't know where that went. Oh, there it is. It's working, sort of. Uh, it worked better, actually, when I... When I had it without the piston. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about the piston. I think... Z I just watched a video where Zulja's doing... A, did a piston as well. A push block. And it's pretty much the same concept. Um, you just have a simple lot of... Uh, let's get this out of bearings right here this bearing this is the one that drives everything this one is loose this one is loose and you have the the actual piston itself which is this area connected to the swing arms through a track so it keeps it um, straight and as you can tell just like this you watch watch it how it works it moves up and then she'll move back and I need to sort of play with those uh, those settings to actually get it working properly. Let's have a look in here what I've got. Uh, so I've just got to go starting at 180 because that's where the starting position I want. Let's turn these engines off. Hang on, that must be really annoying you. What I actually really liked, uh, I discovered is that, yeah, you can you can hook up one switch to multiple engines to turn them on and off, which is great for things like this. But uh, right now, uh, what was I explaining? Yeah, we've we'll got it going 180. Starting at 180, it goes around 360. So, I think actually I could probably just leave this to go like that, right? Let's try this. And you go back to zero. And we'll see what happens here. We'll get up on here. Oh, sweet. Okay, now I've, I've got it. That was simply all I needed to do. So, this is just a switch once. Works like so. And it's the firing mechanism. I like it. If only I could get this working a little bit better. Maybe if I put uh, another row so it's like four tires from all angles coming through. I don't know. We'll have to play with it. I also have considered putting this entire thing on, uh, on a bearing. As you can see here, I've got a bearing. So I could just sort of raise it up, if that makes sense. So it's a cannon. As well as putting the entire thing on a swivel. So you could sit on it. You could turn it left and right, and you could swivel it up and down and sort of aim, that, which is which would be awesome. And maybe we'll get to doing that in another video, but I kind of wanted to show you that much. Um, what else did I want to show you? I think that's about it. Let's jump back in the rat rod here, in the scrap rod. Hey, the world crashed, and my piston died. That's kind of sucky. Uh, let's fix this up. I should be able to... Whoa, calm down, mate. Oh, I think it's broken. Let's Let's try and fix this. Oh, get out of here. That is really frustrating, actually. Um, what happened? Can I move this? Alright, I'm going to have to remake this end. Which is fairly easy. Let's get the metal back out. Uh, not concrete, metal. And then we want to just put this... Oi! Uh, was it there? About that? Whoa, calm down, mate. Uh, I'm just going to... Oh, that's not the delete function. I want to put this down here like so. Crouch and get under there. And hopefully I can... Yeah, we go. Alright, now I can make the piston or the push rod. I guess you could call it. Hang on, that's not connected. So you see, very little uh, difference, discrepancy there. So you need, you need to make sure that it's all like one. So that one there did the same... And you just need to make sure you're pointing at the surface, the moving object that you want for it to work. And then we should be all good to go here. Let's just test this out. There we go. Piston back in action. Good stuff. Um, yeah, so I had some ideas as well. Oh, I've got so many ideas for this game. It's ridiculous. 
But I'm thinking maybe soon we um we work on some good susp this car's actually got only suspension on the back. So she's a bit of a bit of a street racer, the old scrap rod. Um, some automatic doors I thought about as well. Maybe next episode I'll work on as a door design. I'd love to be able to master and, and get out in the world and share with you guys. Uh, uh. I think you can share things on the, on the workshop also. I'm going to have to check that out. Because if, if people want to check out these sorts of designs, let me know. I might upload them to the, um, to the workshop. You know what? We might actually just turn this entire lot down. Let's see how that goes. Oh, the reveal is so much better. Isn't it? So much better slot. We can turn it up just a wee bit. Like there? Yeah, let's go. Oh, I like it. That's so cool. Oh, this game is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to really get into the survival aspect. I think I talked to you about that. Oh, this is leftovers from people joining my world. Leaving mess everywhere. I don't like it. Well, anyway, that's it for this episode. Kind of a short one. I just really wanted to share some concept with you. And um, my voice is about to go. I can tell. Got this tickle in my throat. So, yeah, we've got a few things. We've got the projectile weapon. My nice scrap rod in here. My cool doors. And the roller coaster type train deal. Let's grab this thing again. Let's go for one more ride as I say goodbye. Don't really need to open the door. But hey, role playing is fun. So that's it for this episode, guys. Episode 2 down. There's going to be plenty more scrap me mechanic coming. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. My name is Menace. I'll see you all next time. Woohoo! <laughs>